What's up, everyone? If you were going to be in a professional boxing match and you knew that that match was coming up in six months, then the odds are you would probably train to be in that fight. You wouldn't just show up the day of the fight and expect to do well. And the same is true when it comes to managing our emotions. Anger can be intense. It can be heated. And a lot of times people say, well, I'm really angry, so what do I do right now? Well, it's not gonna mean just handling your anger in the moment you're angry. It's about preparing for it before you ever get there. Look, if you wanna practice being good at boxing, you've gotta box. If you wanna practice being able to be in control of your emotions, you have to practice the type of self-talk that will get you there. So the way I phrase it is this, if you want peace in your life, you have to practice peace. You have to say the types of peaceful sayings that will lead to your mind and body experiencing peace. For instance, if you continuously draw a line in the proverbial sand for your mind and say, well, I'll be calm as long as no one says this, as long as no one does this, then you keep setting yourself up for failure because you're a human being and you're going to interact with other human beings who don't always think, feel, believe, or behave in the way you want them to. So drawing those lines in the sand is just setting yourself up for failure. If you want to have peace, if you want to be able to handle your anger well, you've got to find a way to practice peaceful thoughts day in, day out. You might take a phrase as simple as loving kindness and say that to yourself over and over again. I'm not saying that you walk down the street and say it out loud, but imagine what it might do to your mind, body, and soul if throughout the day you repeated a phrase like loving kindness pretty frequently. It would probably radically transform the way you experience the world. If, on the other hand, you walk down the street constantly think, thinking, uh, she better not say this, he better not do this, this better not happen then the more you set yourself up for the way you believe the world should be, the more you're gonna be let down. If you want to handle anger well, you've got to practice, you've got to prepare, you've got to prepare your mind. So think consciously what will get you to where you wanna be. If you wanna lose weight, we know diet and exercise. If you wanna handle and you wanna step into the boxing ring, you've gotta train, you've gotta you got learn the craft. If you want to handle your emotions well, if you want to handle anger well, you've got to prepare. You've got to practice the type of self-talk that will bring you the kind of peace that can actually be effective when those intense moments arise. Be mindful of your self-talk. Consider repeating a phrase like loving kindness as frequently as possible and watch the difference it makes. Hey, I really hope this helps. So here's the you practicing in the most effective possible way and in the most consistent possible way. As always, until next time, I wish you much peace. Hey, and if you like this video and you'd like to talk to me, I have a radio show on Monday nights and the way to contact that show is in the box below. But Monday nights from 8 to 10 on KDKA Radio, um, I take, do a show called Emotional Management and I take calls and I'm happy to talk to you. So feel free to write in, call in, and be a part of the show.